Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Sure enough, we've got mail. <laughs> it's probably Peach. Ah, probably Peach. Yeah. Yeah. Same dialogue. Give me my five one-ups. So basically, you always start with nine lives. <laughs> so, uh, you were probably wondering, what is a ghost? Like, that, that ghost that they talked about. Well, it's not probably what you think. Like, when you think of ghosts, you probably think of staff ghosts in the Mario Kart series. Especially since you see at the bottom right corner of a star, the clear time. You know, how you can always, like, set a time trial record for a stage or, or, or whatever. Well, that's not quite right. I mean, yes, you can time trial these stages, but... Any stage you've completed, or say any star you've completed as Luigi, you'll be able to see a staff ghost, or ghost, or whatever you want to call them, that just basically shows you around a level into something. Like, this one just giving me a hint at- oops, giving me a hint as to something that's over here. Oh man, it's a one-up, and then it's- and then it's done. It's like, ah, I'm- I'm tired, I've- I, I've had enough, I've done enough here, I, I've showed the peeps how to get the one up. So yeah, they can show you <laughs> ways to get to stuff like this, the star at the end of the level, sometimes comet medals, whatever, and once they're done with their purpose, they'll, they just basically sit in place in some sort of fashion. <laughs> and as long as I'm here, I'm gonna show you a little move that I didn't show before, because see, you crouch down, shake, oh, right, 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 I need to take a, need to take a hit here to get, or at least get rid of my clouds here. I'm gonna show, yeah, you can do like a breakdancing move when you're crouched down and do a spin, but if you have clouds, you just kind of make a cloud. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, if you want to go through all the stages and beat them again with Luigi, just, just to get those ghosts to appear, I, I suppose you can do so. But that's a lot of backtracking for me, and at least I don't know, I don't think I'll do all of that. Because you know how to do it, you can check those out probably on your own if you really, really want to. And I also think they unlock for all the worlds, or at least this is what I heard, if you get 9,999 coins. But that's also another thing that would take forever to do. So let's just go over to Spin Dig That Galaxy here and uh, check out the Prankster Comet that's now floating around the world. Oh man, dig a legs, Daredevil Run. So a Daredevil Run is basically a one hit wonder run and that you can't take any damage because you only got one health throughout the whole thing and there may or may not be other changes along the way too there is not <laughs> you just go straight to the boss so no taking any damage here because you've only got one health on the boss so be careful yeah I'm just gonna kind of just kind of do this via routine here just do it as as smoothly as possible, hopefully, maybe, maybe, and time ourselves well, time ourselves very well actually, because, yep, there's no room for error whatsoever on this run, so you better have the bo the bosses mastered. <laughs> I don't know why that happens sometimes, but okay. Skip, 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 go, go, go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, you're gonna go that way. Wah! Yeah! Alright, two more hits. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this a little bit, little bit better here. <laughs> so you stay right underneath him, or her, whatever the boss is. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a robot, it's genderless. It's the Mewtwo of enemies. <laughs> oh, oh, so sad. Missed it. Uh, might be able to get it though. Oh yeah, nailed it. One more to go. Not really speedrunning it though. Just, just being super, super careful. What? <laughs> I was, I said I was being careful, and I really was trying to be careful. But it, it, my carefulness is failing me. <laughs> Like, all I'm trying to do here is clear the way, basically, you know, prevent our moly friends from filling up the area and causing us ire, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's, and, and that that is a good strategy. You see me use that before, but it's just I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> flip it, flip it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. One more time. I think I've got it this time. Maybe what I'll try doing here is just I don't know, avoiding them maybe. Because it's just gonna yeah, they're gonna go in opposite directions and they sometimes get smashed too. But you know, like by the boss itself, so yeah. Flip, flip, flip. Oh man. Uh, okay, you're gonna go over that way, and this one's probably gonna go the other way. Oh, ah, I missed time, but that's okay. That's okay. We still got this. We've got this. <laughs> so I guess that works too as an alternate strategy. As for some reason, my safe strategy was failing me. <laughs> Should not have happened in the slightest. All right, let's go grab that star and see where. Another prankster comet will pop up too. Because basically when you collect one, another one is gonna appear. At least that's how it usually seems to be, if I recall correctly. <laughs> that really wasn't as hard as I made it, but... Well, I got it. Galaxy completes! Silver crown, that sucker! And over at World 2 Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Now it's got a pr prankster comet hanging out there. So, shall we? <laughs> I'll just keep doing this until the uh, first couple worlds are 100%ed, and why did I take that route when I wanted to take that route just to get the star bits? I don't know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do this here really quick, there we go. <laughs> Puzzle Plank Galaxy begins with another medal. At Happy Cube and Snafu Sathon! World. <laughs> Purple Coin Shadow Vault. Oh man. This could be a tricky one. Basically, you gotta get all the purple coins while you're being chased by Shadow Marios. So, if I were you, I would plan your paths nice and carefully. <laughs> See, they're starting to go over here right at the place. And not only that, you've only got a minute. <laughs> go, 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 go! Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And I love this music, by the way. Yeah, this is from the original Super Mario Galaxy. I mentioned before how much I love this tune. And I'm gonna mention it again, because it returns. But anyway, despite the tense nature of said music and the Shadow Marios, just relax. You'll be okay, just keep going up and down. Oh shoot, that wasn't a good idea. Just keep going up and down the row here. And you should be able to do it without too much ire. Because I'm just basically keeping all the Shadow Marios over on one side the whole time. <laughs> it's like Pikmin following each other. Oh shoot, that's not good. Uh, I'll do that to skip over their path. And only a couple more. Wait, what, four? Okay. Yeah! I like those apples. I hope I don't have uh, only a couple seconds to get that. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah! So that's probably a, actually a pretty good way to get star bits, if you think about it. Maybe even better than the bowling galaxy. <laughs> Alright, where is the next prankster comet? Galaxy complete, baby! I'm sure there's gonna be another prankster comet. Oh wow, all the way back at the very first of the first Sky Station Galaxy. I think this one is a speedrun, if I recall correctly. So I'll be using my best professional speedrun tactics of probably falling into a pit a thousand times. And here we go. <laughs> Sky Station Galaxy. Here we go. <laughs> Get your speed running boots on. Actually, it's probably better to have running shoes. Yeah, it's Pee Wee Piranha's speedrun. <laughs> Yep, we gotta do the stage as well as the boss before time runs out. And those little clocks along the way, you can re restore like 10 seconds per clock. I think it actually varies though. But uh, here we go! Oh man! Welcome to the galaxy, baby! Eh, 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 oh! Wait a second, that's not going to... Wait, I'll do this. Yeah, professional! <laughs> Yeah! Go, 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 go! 
that's as professional as I can make it without doing like 8,000 runs to get my run absolutely perfect. <laughs> Like, you, you see those people doing speed runs and stuff like that, and while it does look very impressive, just imagine how many times it took them to get something that incredible. It takes a lot. <laughs> Maybe should I grab that, that other clock there? Well, we'll be fine. There's more clocks on the Pee-wee Pee -wee Piranha Planet. <laughs> I skipped a bunch of planets on the, the whole run. Well, actually, no, do it. It was the other star that took me to other planets, actually, come to think of it. Uh, anyway, bust his butts, get more time, bust his butts, get more time, see him on the other side of the planets. How's it going there? <laughs> it's gonna get ticked. Round two. And it's on. <laughs> do a jump, do a jump, yeah. Star bits. Always grab your star bits, kids. Uh, I want to get... There we go. Get that butt exposed again. For maximum spanking power. <laughs> it's too padded that way. Far too padded with the egg in the way. Gotta get a good spank in there. <laughs> and there we go. Pee Wee Piranha speed run complete. And this part... Not been going on too long, so I think I'm gonna do a couple more comments. Sound good? I think it does. <laughs> I know I said two or three stars apart, but that's like typical, regular sized galaxy stars apart. Not like little quick runs of, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Boulder Bowl Galaxy has one now too! Let's go bowling! <laughs> I don't remember what this one is. I will probably when I see it. Oh, no, no. Dang it. Yeah, you can go back to Starship Mario if you stop at one of those spaces, like an empty space, but that's not what I'm going for here. I want to go over here. Boulder Bowl Galaxy. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> it is... Well, yes, it is a prankster comet, of course. Yes, yes. But it is a rolling crapper romp. Oh boy! Probably destroying a bunch of enemies. Yep, the crabbers. <laughs> Those crabs are going down because I'm gonna be rolling around the planet like crazy. It's probably time challenge too. Uh, yeah, 60 seconds. Get them all. What's on this side though? Because I seen some. Oh, it's just a one up. Okay, that's that's probably not worth getting in the slightest. I probably don't have enough time to get them now. <laughs> we'll see though. Uh, I'd like. Where, where is my mushroom? There we go, because I need to go around the planet. Yeah, there we go! Now we're cooking! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh! Slow down, not good. Oh, so many crabs, so little time. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a limit to how, how many you can get in per roll, basically, because of the time that you have to smash them up. <laughs> Don't really care about the one up. I only care about the crabs. I will get this infestation off the planets. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. One over here. Shoot. 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 Uh, I'm not gonna help. And uh, oh shoot. Ah. <laughs> and yeah, it does cost you a life if you should fail. Okay. Don't get that one up. <laughs> I would have had enough time to do that if I, if I wouldn't hit that one up. And how did I miss that bolt out of the rock mushroom there on my first run anyway? I don't know. <laughs> but all, all I know is I've got to clear out the crabs. This is one nasty infestation that could be taken many, many ways. I mean, this is a ball, and there's, there's crabs on it. D do whatever you want to do to interpret that. <laughs> uh, not getting the crowds nearly as efficiently this time, so maybe I actually did have a better run going the other time. Maybe, maybe. Other than, like, like right near the end, where I was flubbing it up. Starbits! Oh, shoot! I wasn't pointing correctly. Um, at least you can see, sort of, kind of through... Oh, shoot! 
Oh man, you can see through the planet, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Oh, I would have had enough time. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm really questioning the efficiency of my first run there. I think it was actually better than this one, despite my inability to see said rock mushroom somehow. I don't know. Some days... Some days, I swear. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, those blue ones are containing one-up mushrooms, but they're just there to mess with you more than anything. It's like, why would you stop to get the one-up mushrooms at, at this moment in time when you could be destroying more crabs? Especially since you can get the one-ups after the run. <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> okay. I think this is looking a lot better. Uh, there's just a couple there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Victory! And that was, like, a clear, complete victory. I had, what did it say, 17 seconds left by the end of that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Yahoo, indeed, Mario! Mm, probably one more comet to go by, I think. Probably one's gonna pop around here. And I think I'll do that before I end off the parts. Let's just see where it appears. Oh wow, that's... that could be a dicey one. Flip Swap Galaxy, you know that one with all the bottomless pits and stuff? Uh-oh. A letter addressed to the baby Luma has arrived! <laughs> to my lost Luma, I hope this letter reaches you in bright spirits, little one. This should be of some help to you on your journey back to me. May the stars shine down on you. Who is that? Wow, there are 50 star bits attached to that letter. No return address, but I hope I get to meet this mysterious person too. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. That being said, star bits. <laughs> uh, probably the fastest way is just to zoom out, go over there, and flip swap galaxy. Last prankster comment, I'll do this part, I think, as I said. So here we go. Warning! Warning! Comma detected in the area! Purple coin flip in sprint! That cannot be good. <laughs> yeah, collecting the purple coins with probably Shadow Mario's on your tail? I don't see this looking good. But by the way, you'll notice on these comments is a little bitty tiny uh Vinig get effect, I guess you could- I think it's called vinaigrette or something like that, where the the edges are darker than the uh, center area, basically, and it's- it's it was colored differently in the original Super Mario Galaxy, and luckily, he, here, there is no Shadow Marios to be found. <laughs> uh, definitely gotta go over here. Uh, I'm gonna make this here. Uh, just as long as you're careful, I don't think three minutes will be a problem. Uh, like, if, if you're flailing around by getting yourself zapped by the... Yeah, I think that's gonna cause you more ire than anything. And also, if you should accidentally just, you know, get yourself flipped into the... Oh, shoot! How did I miss that? That was such an easy long jump. <laughs> I suppose that'll make it longer than anything, but yeah, um, basically, all I want, all you want to do is focus on being efficient more than anything, and just as long as you don't go too slow with everything, you should be good. And that was a lot better of a first run compared to that other one. <laughs> that's that's okay though. I think I would have still had enough time during that first run. No problem. Uh, I'm gonna do this and automatically switch that over. Just give myself a little, little extra leeway in terms of time, and especially since there's no sort of zappy zappies around the area at the time either. Uh, I'm gonna get these, and I think I'm actually just to play it super safe. I'm gonna go back just to this blue one here, and then to the red one like this. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. And. And by the way, there's a glitch associated with these plat associated <laughs> with these platforms, in that uh, if you should get yourself a like a little boost jump from them, like if you should spin 
as like, one is coming up there, you'll get it, like a little boost of a jump. And then if you do a long jump off that, you'll be able to long jump really far. But I'm not really sure of the timing on how to do that. It's very difficult to do. But yeah, there, there's a glitch associated with these platforms. And uh, it's pretty funny. I've seen people do it before on the, the YouTubes. And yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll, I'll demonstrate it on camera. But for now, I'll just focus on our purple coin marathon here. <laughs> At least I'm making it into a marathon. I should not be having this much difficulty on this. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm gonna do this, do this, and then I'm on the inside of the electrical barrier. How do you like those apples? <laughs> I think that's a bit e bit more efficient, and I bet you, I, yeah, I can do that too. That's another thing. But yeah, how did I mess up that simple jump right there? That is just the the dumbest possible thing I could have messed up on. I think. <laughs> I let that chomp fall. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the chomps too. Uh, yeah, I think I'll. I probably didn't even need to do that, but I was gonna say I think I'd be able to make that jump normally at that distance. I'm gonna do this to flip it out of existence. There we go. Flip out of existence. Uh, I gotta wait a little bit here. There we go. Now I can drop them both at the same time. And then quickly get these. Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't think there's... Oh shoot, that's not good. <laughs> uh, going over here. There we go. See, this isn't hard if you really think about it. It just... I kept messing up the dumbest of things. <laughs> Just a matter of going back when you need to, and dropping jumps out when you need to. And I'll just long jump that. Um, I will go like this. Yeah! I think I can do this. Uh, let's not risk it. Let's just do this, and do that. <laughs> okay. Flip, flip, flip. Swap, swap, swap. Uh, we're almost there. Almost there. Home stretch. Don't mess it up. 35 seconds. Plenty of time to not mess up with. <laughs> Victory! Unless I fall off the edge. <laughs> Which I am not going to. Alright. <laughs> yeah! Before I end off the part, of course, let's see where the next Prankster Comet will appear so I can clear out that bad boy. Well, you know, it's the start of the next part, so you'll know what to look forward to, basically. Galaxy complete. Next one. Ooh, Tall Trunk Galaxy. That could be dangerous, especially since there's a slide there. Hint, hint. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do more Prankster Comets.